Hi, I'm Andrew Finson with Ether Automation, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an automation that most dropshippers want in their business. So in the previous video, I showed you how to set up a very simple converting a sales order to a purchase order, assuming all the vendors are the same on the sales order. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that if your sales orders contains items that come from different vendors, creating a purchase order for each of those vendors um, within your Zoho CRM. So let's start out by sharing my screen and hopefully I'm sharing the right screen. Otherwise this will be a short video. Great. So in the previous video, I uh, had a, uh, a sales order called New Order, and it had the car hat and the cat carrier. And both of these came from the same vendor. In this video, I have another product called Product 3. And this one comes from Vendor 2. So what I want to happen is when sales orders come in like this, it would create a, uh, two different purchase orders, one purchase order for each vendor in the sales order. So let's go ahead and go back to our function that says new sales order, and let's modify that existing function to include this new feature. So here's the function, right? As you can see, I have this vendor ID, which is pretty static right here. So let's start out by making a few changes. The first change we know we have to do here is we know we're going to need to uh, make a list of all the um, vendors on the sales order, right? So that's fairly straightforward. And then we actually want to do this section right here for each vendor, right? So let's go ahead and start doing that. Well, we already have some of the logic that we want to do right here. So I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to call it vendor line item. And let's end this one down here. Great. So now that we're getting, we're, we're already looking at the vendor ID for each line item. Let's actually start by making a list. So list of vendors equals a list, fairly straightforward, right? Then within here, rather than assemble a line item, we're gonna to check to see if vendor is on list already. So if the list of vendors right here, so if the list of vendors dot contains this new vendor ID, then we want to not go into it. So said differently, if the list of vendors does not contain this ID, so let's put an exclamation point at the beginning, then we're going to add to this list of vendors. So list of vendors dot add vendor ID. Very simple. The other thing we want to do is we want to change this variable name right here. So this will give us a list of vendors. Now, before we go any further, let's just optimize this really quick. And we'll say list of list of vendors dot distinct. Very simple. So now we have a list of vendors. And then for each one of those vendors, we want to run this function. So meaning we want to get, uh, make its own uh, purchase order. So let's make a for each element. For each, we'll call this vendor on PO, vendor on PO. And we actually want to put this at the end of the function here. So now it's saying for each vendor on this PO, we're going to look at the line items and we're going to check to see if that vendor 
um, sh if that line item should be on this PO. So if vendor on PO equals equals the vendor ID, then we're going to continue. And we're going to add this right in here, right? Second thing we want to do is we want to use this vendor PO, vendor on PO, rather than the vendor ID here. And we'll show you why in a little bit. But just with those changes, we're now um, able to run this function. Now, if you look at my code, you may actually see an issue. And that issue is this line item list is determined outside the vendor. So we actually want to grab this line item list. We're going to delete it there and we're going to scroll down to right here. So now it nullifies the list of line items on a PO each time we look at a new vendor. So once again, I'm going to save and execute. And of course, I have errors and let's just look real quick at my errors. There we go. Those are my errors. So now if I look at my purchase orders and refresh, I have none. What I am expecting is to be a, is to create two purchase orders when I run with this sales order. And if I type in my sales order right here, click save and execute. There are two sales orders that are created or two purchase orders that were created. And when I refresh this page, I have two one for vendor two, which contains my, my product three, and then one for the other car co, which contains my other two items. I hope this is helpful. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up an automation that will automatically send this information to the vendor and request for them to approve that they received it and they're sending it out. I'll see you in the next video.